what's up guys Jake here and we are in the BR and making some splits today so I'm gonna take you guys along the ride for what a split is how we do them it's gonna seem very overwhelming but there's a method so let's check it out So the idea here is we're trying to, uh, we replace our queens every year. So we're trying to get, um, take everything that we're, we want to split. We do leave some parents behind, but we take everything that we want to split and we do these split stacks. Um, so I'll go over to the guys and explain to you what's happening in a minute, but I'll just show you. So right here, basically we have 14 singles that came out of Oh, I don't know, this yard is a little bit better. It seems we're getting, for every four hives, we're getting we're getting about uh, nine splits. So it's, it's doing pretty good. Um, this is a good, good yard, um, good condition that the brood is in here. And it's looking very, uh, like a very good brood too. So we'll go check out what the guys are doing over here. So before, there's probably a lot of bees, so I'm gonna explain. We've got um, a couple guys going ahead they're gonna pop up brood and leave food down normal, but they're gonna kinda, of, you'll see the frame on its side, they're gonna pop that up so that we see how much brood is in the box. They're splitting the double deep in half, setting the top boxes on the ground so that we can make up the, the splits super quick. Um, it's a very quick process for making splits. There's no finding the queen, there's no worrying about your amount of bees, basically the premises you make these boxes up with three frames of brood, sometimes four if the brood is spotty, uh, two frames of food, and then some empty frames on the outside. We will give them some feed when we put a cell in tomorrow. So the idea is we make those boxes all up the same way, and all the bees in there are gonna get confused, they're gonna move up and down, they don't know what's going on. All the queens that end up in there are gonna get killed by the other bees, because they're confused. So. That's the goal. We want all of our old queens to be killed because we find that they don't last um, very much longer than a year these days because of a lot of factors we won't get into, but we want them to be killed so we can drop in new cells for all of our splits. And we don't have to worry about our queen age besides what we leave as parents. So that's what's happening here. We'll check this one out. So we've got five good frames of brood in this box and then one medium frame of brood. So if you have no idea what brood is, this is the brood, it's baby bees. Another good frame of brood. More bees that are gonna hatch out. So when the guys walk up to boxes that have been prepped for them, they're gonna switch some brood back and forth so that they can confuse the bees and we kind of equalize the uh, quality of brood and the amount of brood. Again, they're all going for about three full frames of brood. Um, so the one you just saw, that's a full frame of brood. That's a full frame of brood as well. Stop on these. And they'll switch. Cambio. They'll switch to equalize it and then build the box out with food and empty frames. And then a feeder. And then move on to the next one so we don't have to bend over the whole time. Any top. Pop that second box up on top to work it. Again, they keep going through the brood. So like I said, if you don't know, that's baby bees. That's bees that are gonna hatch out. So the idea is that brood will hatch out, the box will have a bunch of bees in it so that they can raise the queen cell, which is an un 
or queen. So that's two splits right there. So that hive was split into two, um, but we're gonna call that two splits because we're putting cells in there. And he's gonna start working on a third. Now the pro to doing this over splitting them in half is you do get to equalize your amount of bees and your quality of brood and amount of brood better than just busting the hive in half. Um, besides, you know, that those are the pros besides just being able to replace all your queens easily without having to go in and kill the queen or rely on the new queen or the bees actually killing the other queen. So that's the idea of this process here. Um, so how we get these down into singles is tonight we'll come back and this is kind of a it's a, it's a tough process um, it's a lot of work when, whenever you have thousands to get through but tonight we'll come down and uh, to that come back to the same yard we'll take these boxes we'll put a lid on them throw them on a pallet a clean pallet that's the process uh, it's like I said kind of chaotic but it, there is a system it does work really well for us um, these bees, obviously, for our Texas honey flow coming up in, uh, I mean, three weeks, something like that, they're not going to make a full crop, um, but that's just, that's part of it. We have to maintain our numbers as beekeepers. Um, if you don't know about beekeeping, if you're watching this and you don't know, uh, we lose uh, 30, 40, sometimes 50% every year. Um, Luckily, our loss last year was 35%, which I'm happy about. Um, very happy about that, actually. So we've got a, we've got numbers to maintain, which means we have to make splits every year in order to maintain those numbers, so that we can maintain pollination contracts, so that we can produce honey for our honey business. Um, there's a lot of things, a lot of factors, and why we want to stay a certain number. Um, in fact, we're trying to grow a little bit this year, so. That's, a, that's the challenge of beekeeping. They're not easy to keep alive. But this is what we do to combat that. But yeah, so that's our, our method of splitting in a commercial operation. I hope this makes sense. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you like it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more of this, uh, whether you're a beekeeper or not. Uh, and we'll see you in the next video.